Good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy. Today is January the 8th, so we are in Proverbs chapter number 8 with our Proverbs of the day. And when you read down through Proverbs chapter 8, we see wisdom as personified as a person. So we see wisdom talking to us. And all through here, we see how wisdom tells us how important it is for us to have wisdom. It also talks about knowledge and how important knowledge is. Well, what's the difference between wisdom and knowledge? Aren't they the same thing? Well, no. Knowledge is having information. Wisdom is the ability to put that information to use. It's, and, and in here, we read that wisdom is far more valuable than rubies, and nothing you desire can compare to it in verse number 11. And then in verse 17, it says, Those who search will surely find me. So if we really want wisdom, the ability to make right decisions, the ability to put knowledge into action, then we can search for it. And the Bible says if we search for it, we'll find it. Those who will search will surely find me. That's verse number 17, chapter number 8. And as you go down through here, it talks about how happy you'll be when you find wisdom. It says, listen to my instruction and be wise, verse 33. And then in verse 34, it says, joyful are those who listen to me, watching for me daily at my gates, waiting for me outside my home. Verse 35, for whoever finds me finds life and whoever receives favor and receives favor from the Lord. You know, wisdom is something that we should want as Christians, as believers, we should want wisdom so that we can make right decisions, so that we can act the right way. Because the way we act and the way that we move through life as believers is very, very important. You know, people are watching. Believers are watching. People outside the church are watching. They're watching to see how we respond to things. They're watching to see how we react to things. They're looking at us. My grandpa used to say, it's better to keep your mouth shut and people think you're smart than to open your mouth and prove them wrong. Well, that's kind of what we're talking about here. We should be people who have wisdom, not people that when we open our mouth, people realize they have no idea what they're talking about. They're clueless. How could that person be a believer? So as believers, we should be seeking wisdom, putting it into practice in our lives because the world's watching. And some, for some people, you may be the only Bible that they ever read. So it is important the way that we live our life, the things that we do, the decisions that we make, because the world's watching. And you could be the difference between someone coming to Christ and coming into a relationship with Him and choosing not to. I don't know about you, but I want people when they look at my life to say, that person's a Christian. There's something different about them. I want what they have. I don't want them to look at me and say, if that's being a Christian, I want no part of it. How can we live that kind of life? How can we make those kind of decisions to live that way? It's by having wisdom. So I hope that you're in the Word because the way we get wisdom is, number one, through God's Word. All through Scripture, we see that wisdom comes from God. In fact, he says in the New Testament, if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all men liberally. So we can ask God for it and God can give it to us. We find it through his word. So get in God's word. It's so important for a Christian to be in God's word every single day, reading it, meditating on it. Well, yesterday, my meditation time, the time I spent thinking and mulling over the scriptures was in Psalm chapter 37. And man, did Psalm chapter 37 help me. I even have a little legal pad here of notes that I wrote down of things that will help me out of Psalms 37. Everything I just do should be from Him. Change can be difficult. But it's encouraging because Psalm 37, 5 says I'm supposed to trust in Him. And He will help me. So even when I'm going through tough times, whether it's change at work, whether it's change in life, whether it's a tough situation with a coworker. I trust in him and he'll help me. That, that helped me. And then in Psalm 37, 3, it says to trust in him and do good. So all of these verses in Psalm 37, and I'm just sharing with you what God did for me yesterday and how in my time, my personal quiet time in God's word, he was showing me what he wanted me to do. So I'm supposed to trust in him and do good. And it says I'll live safely and I'll prosper. So I hope you're in God's word. And that God is able to show you some things out of his word that he wants you to do that should be important for you. So get in God's word today. See what God has for you. Search the scriptures. Get into the un unbelievable riches that God has 
available for you every day. I hope that encourages you, and I hope you'll get into God's Word today and read it for yourself. Spend some time with Him. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. God bless you.